Welcome to the overview of the course Cybersecurity Essentials. I'm AK Ashokan and this course will be useful to any aspirant who wish to come into information security or cybersecurity area. This is only an introduction and a fundamental course and covered the essentials. It is not a very exhaustive course. Let's move on. There are 10 different modules we are going to cover in this course namely introduction to cybersecurity, the information assets, then the need for protecting the information. Why do we protect the information? The network security, something related to the network, data classification and controls, how to classify the data in an organization, how to provide the access controls. Physical security controls is very important and identity and access management security governance and principles, secure communication technologies, what are the various communication technologies including VPN, etc. will be covered in the secure communication technologies. And then cryptography, this is very important to understand data communication and data security. Let's now briefly understand what are the various topics covered in each module. Module 1 is the introduction to cybersecurity. So we discuss briefly cybersecurity and information security. The CIA tried confidentiality, integrity and availability. CIA tried IDS and IPS, intrusion detection system and intrusion prevention system, firewall, perimeter security and defense in depth. How to provide layers of defense. In the second module, we discuss the data, business and process and personnel and the devices which are available in an organization. Module 3, the need, we are going to discuss the various threats and vulnerabilities and certain attacks and what is risk. In the module 4, network security, the networking models, OSI versus TCP IP. Routing and switching, network address translation, we understand the private IP, public IP and then translation, how it happens. Firewall for perimeter security and demilitarized zone, DMZ. In the module 5 data classification controls, we discuss data labeling, data owners and custodians, personally identifiable information, what is PII and the various access control methods. In the module 6, physical security controls, we discuss the control types and categories. In module 7, identity and access management, we discuss the identity and authentication, various factors of authentication, authorization, accounting and assurance, or the 5A concepts, all that we will discuss under this module. In module 8, security governance and principle, we discuss the policies, standards, guidelines, framework, benchmarks and procedures, how to understand all these and what are the hierarchy of importance which is there for these documents in an organization. Module 9, secure communication technologies are the Virtual Private Network or VPN, IKE and IPSec Protocol, Internet Key Exchange, IPSec Protocol, IP Security Protocol, SSL and TLS Protocols. SSL stands for Secure Socket Layer and TLS is for Transport Layer Security. The Module 10, the last module is very important in order to understand the data security. And here we discuss the symmetric and asymmetric crypto systems. PKI, public key, private key, digital signature, hash and all that. Encryption and decryption process, public key, private key, digital signature, non-repudiation and hashing. I welcome all of you to visit the cyberinfonet.com. This is a student blog where we upload the newer videos. And for protocol analysis, please visit wiresharklabs.com. Thank you and let's move to module 1.